Welcome to Living English. Today we'll be looking at how to talk about routine, things you do every day. In our last episode of Sisters and Brothers, Anne and Steve were at the wildlife park getting to know each other and some Australian animals. We catch up with them as they talk about their different lives. <music> Tell me about your life in Singapore. What do you do every day? Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? Usually. Sometimes I go with my father in his car. What about you? What do you do? I'm a builder. I build houses. Mm. And how do you get to work? I drive. I have to use my car for work, so I never go by bus. Do you enjoy it, your work? Mostly. It's not easy being a builder. But it's outside. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Mm, sometimes I go shopping. Sometimes I go out. Where do you go? Nightclubs? Mm, not really. Occasionally. Who do you go with? A bunch of friends. Boyfriend? Not at the moment. Well, it looks as if Anne and Steve will be seeing more of each other in the future. First, let's look again at how Anne describes her life. What do you do every day? Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. When Steve asks his question, and when Anne answers it, they use the simple present. This is a form of the verb used to describe routine actions, things you do all the time, like work. Practice Steve's question with the clip. What do you do every day? What do you do every day? Steve wants to find out about Anne's life, where she lives, where she works, what she does every day or every week. First, Anne describes her job. Well, I work in my father's business. Anne also asks Steve about his job. If you want to know about someone's job or occupation, you say, what do you do? What about you? What do you do? Practice saying, what do you do, with the clip. Now listen to how Steve describes his job. What about you? What do you do? I'm a builder. I build houses. Steve describes his job in two ways. He says its name. I'm a builder. And he says what he does. I build houses. There are many jobs that can be described like this. Imagine you are these people and say what you do. Bus driver. I'm a bus driver. I drive buses. Baker. I'm a baker. I bake bread. Hotel manager. I'm a hotel manager. I manage a hotel. Notice how many words that describe jobs end in er. What's the word that describes your job in English? Say it. I'm a... Maybe you don't have a job. Maybe, for example, you're a student. So what would you say? I'm a student. I study, say what you study, for example, computing science. You can also say what you do by describing where you work. Remember what Anne said. 
Well, no, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. We could also say that Anne is a wine importer. Try now saying the name of the job and then where you work. For example, banker. I'm a banker. I work in a bank. Teacher. I'm a teacher. I teach at a school. Pilot. I'm a pilot. I fly planes. Accountant. I'm an accountant. I have my own business. Waiter. I'm a waiter. I work in a restaurant. So you can say where you work. At a school, in a bank, in a shop. Or you can say you work for a business. I work for a bank or for a restaurant. Or maybe you can say I have my own business. Sometimes we say I work for myself. Let's look at another question Steve asks Anne. How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? Usually. Sometimes I go with my father in his car. Steve asks Anne, how do you get to work? This is still about routine, something Anne does every day. Practice with the clip. Do you, do you catch a bus? How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? And Steve asks Anne if she catches a bus. Practice with the clip. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? And here's Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. So how do you get to work? I walk. How about you? I drive my car. Let's look at how to talk about different ways of getting to work, or school, or wherever you have to go. How do you get to work? I drive to work. I go by car. I walk to work. I go on foot. Let's think of some other ways. By bus. I catch a bus. I go by bus. By train. I catch a train. I go by train. For most types of transport, we say by. By bus. By train. By car. But we say on foot. So, Brenton, do you ever go to work by bus? No, never. Let's look at our story again. Anne and Steve are talking about working outside. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Mm, sometimes I go shopping, sometimes I go out. Anne and Steve were talking about things they do, apart from work, and how often they do them. That is, how many times. Let's look at five words. Never, occasionally, sometimes, often, always. Let's find out how often Brenton does things. Here's a week. Let's put a tick on how often Brenton does things. I'm going to ask him, how often? You help me by asking the question too. First, about exercise. How often do you exercise? Every day. I exercise every day. So he always exercises. Go to the cinema. How often do you go to the cinema? Occasionally. I occasionally go to the cinema. Watch TV. How often do you watch TV? Sometimes. I sometimes watch TV. 
use the telephone. How often do you use the telephone? Often. I often use the telephone. Play sport. How often do you play sport? Never. I never play sport. Now help me answer the questions. How often does he use the telephone? Often. He often uses the telephone. How often does he exercise? Always. He always exercises. How often does he go to the cinema? Occasionally. He occasionally goes to the cinema. How often does he play sport? Never. He never plays sport. And how often does he watch TV? Sometimes. He sometimes watches TV. Now let's have another look at the story and see if you can hear the words they use to describe how often they do things. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Sometimes I go shopping, sometimes I go out. Where do you go? Nightclubs? Mm, not really. Occasionally. So Brenton, let's see how closely you and our audience were listening. How often does Anne go to nightclubs? Occasionally. She occasionally goes to nightclubs. How often does Anne work outside? Never. She never works outside. How often does she go shopping? Sometimes. She sometimes goes shopping. And how often does she travel? Occasionally. She occasionally travels. And we can also say she travels occasionally. And finally today, let's look back again at how Anne describes what she does. Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Let's look at the phrase, my father's business. Who owns the business? Her father owns the business. How do we know? Because of the apostrophe. An apostrophe is a punctuation mark which shows possession. So, my father's business means the business of my father or the business which belongs to my father. We use an apostrophe, then an S. So we could say, Michelle's hair is blonde. Michelle's hair means the hair that belongs to Michelle. And we could say, Brenton's shirt is yellow. The apostrophe shows that the shirt belongs to Brenton. Well, it's time for me and my shirt and you and your hair to go. And time for us to see today's episode of Sisters and Brothers again. We'll see you next time when we'll look at giving thanks and letter writing. Goodbye. Bye. Tell me about your life in Singapore. What do you do every day? Well, I work in my father's business importing wines. Mm -hmm. I live with my family. How do you get to work? Do you, do you catch a bus? Usually. Sometimes I go with my father in his car. What about you? What do you do? I'm a builder. I build houses. Mm. How do you get to work? I drive. I have to use my car for work, so I never go by bus. Do you enjoy it, your work? Mostly. It's not easy being a builder, but it's outside. I prefer to work outside. Mm, I never work outside. Occasionally I travel though, like now. And what do you do on the weekends? Mm, sometimes I go shopping, sometimes I go out. Where do you go? Nightclubs? Mm, not really. Occasionally. <laughs> Who do you go with? A bunch of friends. Boyfriend? Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs>